Good day, everyone. I welcome you back to Global Education Zone. And this is the um, Arab session for SS2 course. And in this second episode of this course, we are going to be dealing with data modeling. Now, you remember that in a previous episode, I talked about the fact that data models are the representations that help us to understand and help us to structure and organize data. So, we'll talk about data structures, we'll talk about data organization. Now, in this particular episode, we're going to be dealing with data model, and today is going to be a hands-on episode because we're going to also be dealing with how you can create a data model and how you can perform different functions with a data model. And you can also, and we'll also talk about the significance of the data model. We we'll also talked about finally the examples of standard data model. So join me as we delve into this course in detail. Now, basically, Microsoft Access is one of very important tool that is used for data modeling because it is the kind of like the industry standard for data modeling. And as you know, when we are dealing with data, we will often make use of database management system. So Microsoft Access is also a database management system. We talked about different database management systems in previous episodes, but data but Microsoft Access is kind of like the um, the ones we'll be using in this video. So basically I'll be talking about different layouts of Microsoft Access and different things you can do with Microsoft Access. So Microsoft Access is a database software package that has that um, allows you to create a computerized database, and you can also use it to organize any kind of um, um, of, of information like your students in, um, report, students um, scores, student um, examination scores, and even the employee data of your company. So Microsoft Access is used. And when you want to create Microsoft Access tables, first of all, you should have opened a um, new um, database using Microsoft Access. We talked about that in the previous episode on the database management system. So basically, after you create a blank database, you, you, um, it, um, Microsoft Access opens the data sheet field and it makes available the tool. So there are different tools on Microsoft Access. So this is kind of like how it looks on the computer screen. You have the um, office button, you have the title bar, the uh, menu bar, the different ribbons, and then you have the database itself in the working area. That's kind of like the area where you work everything. So yeah, in that in that area, you can. This is the data sheet view, and it makes it it makes available the tool you need to create a table. So when you are dealing with database, a database is functionally a table. Okay, let's say it's also structurally a table, but in function, it's kind of just its function is kind of like um. Let's say it's structurally a spreadsheet, and then functionally it's a database. So there's kind of this similarity between Microsoft um, Excel and Microsoft Access. It's kind of structural, but in functional terms, there's a lot of difference. So basically, data sheet view allows you to display um, a table as a set of rows and columns, and you can see a um, a column named ID. So that's ID. This is it. This is right. This is the ID. This is actually the first um, is the first um, column you can see, and it's kind of like the um, identifier of your data. So ID is kind of like it's a, it's a special field that is that gives yeah, an identity to every um, or record in the database. So basically, um, your blank database always opens with default table name as table one, but then you can also change it. As you can see, you can change it on in the title um, bar. This that's at the top of the table. So basically, now after that, you um, there are different. Um, if you want to add a new field. Within the to within the data sheet, and all you need to do is you click the add new field um, column. So this you go to the um, there's a data sheet um, tab. Then you, you you look for add new sheet. So this add new sheet actually it adds a new um, it adds a new field. So this add new field this is it right here. Let me let me change the um, the tab. So when you when you click that add new sheet, it helps you to add a new sheet. So the data and then you can if you want to add a new field by using the new field button you can click the click the data sheet tab and you can click the new field button so this new field button will help you to um, create a new field now to add a new field in design view you click the design field button and then you click on the new next available field and then you type in the name of the field so basically these are basically directions for different things you can do on Microsoft um, Access now what if you want to edit the data types in the field so when you are creating a table, you should you should define the data types of the table to the most closely to the most closely matching um, 
type of data that will be entered in the field. So to edit the data type in data sheet view, to edit the data type in data sheet view, you click the field you want to define, click the data sheet tab on your ribbon, and then you click the down arrow next to data type, and then you choose the type of data that will be entered. So you can see that here we have different types of data. You you can you can choose to um to have different types of data. So for example, you can have text, you can have memo, you can have numbers, you can have data um, date and time, you can have currency. So this will determine the kind of data that will be in that um, that actual cell, or rather that actual um, field or record. Now basically, that's how to do that. But just remember that there are different ways of achieving the same goal in uh, Microsoft Access. But this is the conventional way. You have short shortcut keys. You can also perform all these actions. Now there are different other things you can be doing. You can also, when you want to um, edit the format of data, you can click the field you want to define, and then so that you just click on the field and you click the data sheet tab on the ribbon and click the down arrow next to format. So it will format the um, type of data. So you can also change the um, type of data. You can change it to general number, currency, euro, fixed, standard, percent. So these are all data types and formats of data. So the reason why we change the format of data is, is to suit our needs. Because at times when you are entering data into a column or a cell in your table, you might need to tailor that type of data to the um, type of data you actually have. So you can't be using data and time when you actually need to be making use of ordinary numbers. And you can't be using um, text when you need to be making use of currency. So when you choose the informat the data type you it, um, it will automatically be updated for example if i type in 150000 in that um, in the in the particular cell and i have already formatted the data type as a um, currency so it will automatically adjust it and put the format as either um, um dollars or the rest but if i don't do that it will just leave it as ordinary text so that is the essence of doing that now if you want to edit the data type in design view you click the design view and click the field name you wish to define or create a new field. Then click the data type and choose the appropriate data type and format the field in the field properties dialog box. So this is uh, this are the type. We'll also be asking this out, but the thing is um right now we cannot be doing a live um, um practice of this because right now I don't have Microsoft access on my computer. That's why that's why I'm still depending on the um, the um, the uh, book to do this but when I immediately I do that I will make a video hopefully in the future on how to practicalize all these uh, steps. So there are there are, you can as you can see there are a lot of things you can be um doing with your with, with, with Microsoft access and these are all functions that make it easier for you to perform um, different things with your data. Now there's something with Microsoft Access and that is forms. Now forms they are like um used to enter into um, the um data in the table they are used to enter data into the table and these forms they make it easier for you so all you need to do when you want to um when you for example when you have new data to be entered into your database so you can just create a form instead of going through the tedious process of trying to type in everything manually you can just create a form and then you can type in those data and those fields and then it will be automatically updated in your table so that is the best way to um, input data into your table and it's kind of the most convenient because if you have multiple data if you have numerous data it kind of simplifies the process so to create a form, you open the navigation pane. There's a pane known as the navigation pane, and this navigation pane is um actually navigation pane is um just above the um working area to the um, left. So that's the navigation pane. Then the step two. So the steps are outlined there. The step two is you click the um, table or query on which you want to base your form. Then step three, you activate the create tab. So the create tab is actually to the um, top left. Then next, lastly, you create, you click the form in the forms group. So when you click, when you go to the creator, there will be a group of, there will be a forms group. So you click the form, and then you, you get a new form being created on the table. Then it will look something like this. So this is how um, it, it it often looks. When you create a new form, your form looks like this. It has um, a, a horizontal array. So you have the um, the um, fields, the field type, the names of the um, field, you are, you are the new field, and, and you have the um, the space to input the the, um, the labels and the text and the numbers. So a label is basically a text, and then a value is the number. So that is the, it's just like the, um, the um, way we know Excel. So in, even in Excel, we call labels as text and we call it as numbers. And labels are often formatted to the left, while values are often formatted to the right. Now there are alternative ways of creating forms. For example, you can make use of a form wizard. 
Now this form wizard it um, simplifies everything. You can create forms with the help of the form wizard. To use the form wizard on the create tab, click the more um, more forms down arrow, and then on the form wizard, you can create the form wizard to on. Um, when you click on that um, form wizard, that more forms down arrow. Then you click on um, when you click on form wizard, it will open a new um, window, and that will um, we um, choose the help you to choose the kind of form you want to create. So basically, this form wizard is kind of like an a form automator. It, it makes kind of automates the process of making forms. So it makes it easier. All you need to do is just um, click the um, the, um, the corresponding fields and the um, columns you want to insert in your database. Then you click their properties and their labels. Then you click OK to take you through a little bit of um, processes, and then you are done. Automatically, you have created new um, data into your database. So, there are a lot of things we can do with Microsoft um, Access, and this is these are all the um, processes of data modeling. So, you, you can you remember this video was talking about data modeling, and data modeling is basically how to um, how you make um, um, how you organize data and you structure it so that it becomes a um, kind of standard form. Yes, there's also a standard standardization and we'll talk about that in the service video but it simply means when you um, when you make data to be to be in an acceptable and be in a professional form and there's also what's known as normalization we'll talk about that in a separate video there there's first normal form second normal form third normal forms of um, organizing data those are the basic basic um, ways there are steps in which you can carry your data through by structuring it and organizing it and one of these is the use of forms then you also have um, you can Create queries. So a query is basically um, a, um, a type of um, feature on Microsoft Access that allows you to select and filter data from multiple tables. So queries can be saved and utilized as often as you need them. So when you create queries, you can decide to use um, the um, query wizard. So the query wizard walks you through the steps and it makes everything automated and easier for you. So that's the best way. But if you want to really um, understand how to make use of Microsoft Access, you should use the um, to create the query using the normal method. So when you create the query using the query wizard, you click on the create tab and click the query wizard button under the um, other groups. Then you click the type of query you choose to um, choose to run. So and then you click OK and then it will run. Now the function of queries are basically to retrieve data, selected data from a table. For example, if I have a table of, let's just look at queries as pivot tables on a cell. So there's, there's a feature known as pivot table that extracts specific data from a table in Excel. So in Microsoft Access, we also have queries. Queries are kind of like, they are questions. They are, they are, um, they are, um, they are kind of like, let's call them, they are desires. When, when you, you are the, um, the table, the owner of the database, when you have the desire to know about um, a particular um, part of your database, you can make a query to extract that part of information and it will be displayed in a sub, in a sub sub type of um, table so that is the function of queries and then you, you can choose the choose the field you want, want to include so those fields are the ones that will be displayed in your query apart from queries there are also um, you can also create um, reports you can make use of the reports with a report basically is a summary of the data you have in your table so reports organize and summarize data for viewing online or for printing so a data a, a detailed report displays all of the selected records and reports are a means to view and analyze large amounts of data. So you can use the reports wizard to create a custom report that make that meets your specific needs. So for, for people that run all these um, blue chip companies, they understand all these um, processes because when and whenever you want to, um, they deal with large amounts of data. It's companies like Facebook. Now these companies they need um, this kind of features. They are used not just blue chip, it's not, it's not just blue chips. Even average companies and small companies, as long as you have a lot of data, it becomes Cumbersome to use um, any other um, feature apart from re reports because reports they makes everything easier for you just need to summarize and view the outline of data and it gives you the big picture. So reports you can make use of um, a blank report and you use a blank report or you can create a report using the um, report wizard. So it will also create a report for you. Now that those are basically the four things that features of table and these four things that we talked about so far. They are the um, the instruments that are used in data modeling. So they are the tables, they are the um, forms, queries, and reports. 
So in summary, we talk about a table. A table is basically a, um, a, a collection of data that um, can be organized and structured. So tables are often used in database to present data. We also have the forms. Forms are used to input data. Why queries are used to um, kind of like um, they, they, they impose constraints on data. Then we have um, reports. Reports help us to extract and summarize the kind of data we have on our table. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode and hopefully I'll see you next episode of this course. Thank you for watching.